Hey guys, TechAKHD here again with another video. And today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to letterbox your videos. Now if you don't know what a letterbox is, letterboxing is when you have the black bars at the top and the bottom of your video to give it a more cinematic and widescreen effect. Now this is actually pretty easy to accomplish with just a simple photo editor as well as your video editor of choice. Now the video editor that I'm using is Final Cut Pro 10, but this is going to work with iMovie, Windows Movie Maker I believe as well, as well as a whole host of other video makers uh, or video editors so long as they allow you to overlay files. So what I'm going to do is open up Final Cut Pro and show you guys uh, a test demo video that I actually made a couple days ago as long as I still have the project files. In fact, actually what I've decided to do is I'm probably just going to... Okay, so I can get rid of this file here and get rid of these files from my timeline. Now this is the review that I did of the JBL Micro 2 that I uploaded onto my channel a couple days ago. Now as you can tell, this is uh, not in widescreen at all. It's it's 16 by 9 but it doesn't have that cinematic look to it because it doesn't have the black bars at the top or the bottom. Now this is the part of the clip that I really like, where I actually do the pull focus to show the bottom ring of the JBL Micro 2. Now this is where I can actually show you guys how to install the letterbox. So we're going to make this in a couple seconds, but this is essentially what it's going to look like once it's completed and you've added it to your time frame or to your timeline. So as you can see, now we have the black bar at the top and the bottom, and I think that this adds a really interesting uh, look to your videos to try to make them seem more widescreen, more professional almost. Some people think that it makes your videos look more professional. I think that it's just a nice effect that I use from time to time in some of my videos. So now I'm gonna show you how to make it. Uh, let's actually move on. Uh, so this will actually work with a whole host of photo editors. It doesn't have to be uh, Photoshop. You can actually use a free photo editor called GIMP. So I'm just going to open up Photoshop CS 6.6 or CS6 rather and show you guys what to do. Now for the video file that I'm working with, it is a 1080p video file, but if you're using 4K, I think you would need to upscale it. Now I, I would think that most or the majority of people who are actually using this particular method are probably not filming in 4K, but if you are, uh, then this probably isn't for you. Uh, but once you have your, once you know what size your video is being filmed in, for example mine is 1920 by 1080p, you can put that into the pixel count on your photo editor of choice. So here is 1920 by 1080 and of course it's pixels and I like to keep it at a 326 pixel per inch simply because that's one pixel per inch ratio that I definitely know that the human eye cannot discern. Okay, now once you have this you don't have to worry if you've shot your video in 720p because 1080p when scaled down is essentially 720p so all you have to do now is actually select um, what you want your background to be and for some reason Photoshop here has decided to crash, it's not working for me, so what I'm going to do is force quit it. Right, so you're going to want to uh, again select your pixel per inch count, or pixels, 1080. and 326 uh, and also you're definitely going to want to edit this you're going to want to make it transparent so your background should always be transparent if you make it white it's going to be or a background color it's going to be pretty difficult uh, but once you have that i'm just going to name this file letterbox uh, and here it is so what you're going to want to do is actually pretty simple all you have to do is select the selection tool here which is the re rectangular marquee tool and measure up the number or the size of the black bars that you would like to be on your video. Uh, I usually keep them up to the fourth square here. And just stretch across. Now once you've done that, let go. Hit fill. Right click and hit fill. Choose a color. And the color of course is going to be black. And hit OK. Now hit Command C to copy it and hit command V to paste. Once you've pasted, just move the second black bar down and you're essentially done cre creating your letterbox. All you have to do now is save this file. So, 
export the file as whatever kind of format you would like. I think that PNG24 is the best because it's the highest quality. Hit save and save it as letterbox.png or jpeg or whatever it is that you decided to save it as. So here's my letterbox.png file, of course saved here on my desktop. Now all you have to do is go into Final Cut Pro, or again, your video editor of choice. I'm using Final Cut Pro, as I said before, this is going to work with pretty much every video editor out there. Import the file into your clip bin, as you can see over here, uh, this is my letterbox file up here. Then as I showed you before, bring this over, and drag it on top of your existing video frame, and hit play and you're essentially good to go because the black bars will overlay as an image and since this part over here was transparent it's going to let your video play from underneath so this is essentially an overlay on top of your video and it gives it that nice professional look now one of the videos that i actually made this on was a drum cover video that i made for uh just for my facebook friends recently and as you guys can see we have the black bars at the top and the bottom. Now I did film this with a fisheye lens, so it's already pretty wide. Uh, but I think that the black bars actually add like a touch of uh, professionalism almost to it. I really like them, and I think that a lot of you will as well. Alright guys, so that does about do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, it would be really awesome if you guys could leave the video a like rating by hitting the little thumbs up button in the bottom left hand corner of the video. And for more videos like these as well as other unboxings, reviews, tutorials, and much much more, please do remember to subscribe. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. And as always, I will catch you all in the next video. Peace.